Today, let us use what we have learnt in subtraction to solve subtraction stories. Let us begin with one such story. There are 59 ants on a log of wood in a river. 31 ants fell in the river. How many ants are left on the log of wood? First, we read the story. What information does it give? There are 59 ants on a log of wood in a river. 31 ants fell in the river. Now, let us see what we have to find out. How many ants are left on the log of wood? Remember, when the words taken away, left, how many more than, remained, difference or given away come in the story, then we have to subtract the numbers given in the information. Here, we have to subtract 31 from 59 to find the answer. We always subtract the ones first and then the tens. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Thus, the difference of 59 and 31 is 28. There are 28 ants left on the log of wood. And we found the answer. Now, let us look at another story and try to solve it. Look, snails! There are 25 snails on the ground. 16 of them hid themselves in their shell. How many snails are still out of their shell? Now, let us see what information we have and what we have to find out. Information 25 snails on the ground and 16 of them hid themselves. We have to find out how many snails are still out of their shell. To find the answer, we have to subtract 16 from 25. So, first we have to regroup the two tens as 5 is less than 6. So, we get 2 tens is equal to 1 ten plus 10 ones. We add the 10 ones and the 5 ones to get 15 ones. Now, 15 ones minus 6 ones is equal to 9 ones. And 1 10 minus 1 10 is equal to 0 tens. So, we get the answer as 9. Thus, there are 9 snails out of their shell. Wasn't it fun to solve subtraction stories of ants and snails? 